Welcome art lovers to the Blue Molecular in Wallace Emerson Park in Toronto. We are in the park, but we're also not in the park. We are actually in an augmented reality exhibit by Canadian artist Kate Wilson. Now, you may have already heard about augmented reality, or AR for short, from popular mobile games like Pokemon Go, but this technology has been around for a while. In fact, in 1999, augmented reality was being used for navigation in a NASA spacecraft. But what about for art? Well, in today's episode, I'm excited to meet with artist and curator Maddie Piller, who's gonna take us on a walking tour of hidden AR exhibits all around Toronto, maybe even in your own neighborhood park. Maddie? Hello? I'm here in the washroom. The washroom? Yeah, come in, come in. Are you decent? I'm tidying up some stuff here. Oh? Uh, that's my lab, actually. The washroom is the your lab? The washroom is the lab. <laughs> now I prefer to leave it, you know, nice and tidy. OK, yeah. cool. Maddie, tell me about your practice and how you came to being an artist. I'm originally from Peru. Peru? From South Peruvian. Yeah, Peruvian. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I started meeting people in the art. I started taking workshops and knowing more about the technology that I always like to use, which yeah. is film and cameras and uh, as a woman being empowered. Yeah. And, uh, and so uh, definitely one of the biggest things for me. What? Um, what this, is this? Like, this contraption is what I call analog Photoshop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can turn on that button. Yeah. You're here? That's the JK. It's a projector. Mm -hmm. And the image is being projected on this glass and reflected onto the digital camera. So it is kind of a generative process mm -hmm. between analog and digital. Mm -hmm. That's what I love. What type of technology are you working in? I migrated from uh, analog, hybrid analog, mm -hmm. to augmented reality. What is augmented reality? Yeah, yeah. what is augmented reality? Uh, not too many people know. You know, I think uh, that sometimes people get confused with like VR, VR and AR. Exactly. So what would you say like so, AR is? So VR, you use these goggles and you get into these landscapes or experiences that get you into something. Mm -hmm. With augmented reality, you use an application and the application brings that reality to you. If I take my phone and I go into an application mm -hmm. and I point at a place, mm -hmm. some Technology use markers, mm -hmm. some other ones, the ground is the marker. What is a marker? A marker is something that becomes the trigger for the augmented reality to show. How do we get from the artist's work to the augmented reality? If you have this object, mm -hmm. we can recreate this in 3D, and from there you can model it and you can accommodate that texture onto the element that you're creating. Probably you want to change the shape, mm -hmm. you want to animate it. Yeah, so that's pretty much how it works. So, Maddie, where are we? What is PixFilm? That's a good question. PixFilm is a space, is a studio, mm -hmm. it's an underground... Underground collective? Place, <laughs> collective. We have a artist residency here and I start bringing all the equipments and sharing with the community but through those relations I met the people from the artificial museum there are two artists from Vienna uh, Lito and Yasha mm -hmm. we partner with the artificial museum as a platform to explore augmented reality and we start teaching the artists how to access these technologies. So the process of integrating a practice into this new technology of augmented reality is an eye-opener. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and people really embrace it in a very positive way. And at the end, we had like amazing results. And that's the first project that we did that is called Movement, Movement? Toronto Vienna. Oh, 
Local Movement Toronto Vienna. And there were nine artists and they're all placed, you know, in the area of where Pixelm is, in mm -hmm. the surroundings. There's a beautiful corridor of parks, so we use that corridor to place the artwork. What would you call these pieces? Are they more like sculptures? Um, you know, I like to call them artifacts. It's more like related to the technology that it comes from, you know, and it's art and fact. <laughs> it's the art fact. and fact, art of facts. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I can show you. Yes? Let's go outside, then we can actually see one of these artifacts. Yeah, let's do it. Where should I go? Okay. Come here. Oh my gosh, it's like a playground. <laughs> Marvelous sculpture. Maddie, if you go huh? like this, come over here. It's like you're holding the flower almost. There you go. <laughs> you're holding the flowers. How nice. This is Marco. One of the main ideas that I look at in my work is the relationship between humans and their environment. For this piece, uh, Reflection, Obsession, Artifice and Self, I went to a bank of elements and I created this monument, I guess, to our relationship with our environment. In the middle you have uh, the self and it's, he's standing above a, a reflective pool and it's sort of meant to try and relate to different aspects of our lives. On one side you have our relationship with society, you have our relationship to our emotions and our deep desires, and on the other side you have our relationship with nature. Marco mm -hmm. using parts of sculptures yeah and not making a solid one, but using a garden of a them. It's, it's kind of making a, a critic of uh, what is valuable in a sculpture. But he has the freedom of doing that. Through this uh, medium. Yeah, absolutely. Go around the... The rock. The rock, yeah. Yay. <laughs> You're kind of in a pool of... Uh, <laughs> a pool? It's so neat. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's very close by. I'll get you to just stand. Okay, I'm gonna stand here. Stand right there. Careful! Okay. Nice, and pretend you're in like a wave pool. Wow! Wow! You're conducting! <laughs> that was fun. So you see the, you know, it kind of plays a lot with the, with the graffiti around. Yeah. Okay. So that was part of the concept and uh, I love that they stays here as a memory. Memory Lane is a piece I produced because I wanted to explore how memory emerges in relationship to, to space. As I was preparing myself to move from Toronto to Spain, and I was also seeing how much the neighborhood that I used to go to was being transformed and gentrified. That neighborhood where I have had a lot of queer and trans experiences has been slowly disappearing in front of my eyes. They're in Spain mm -hmm. and we are here mm -hmm. thinking of their memories in this space. Mm -hmm. So th I think that's that's amazing. Aha! <laughs> I'm loving this tour. <laughs> so uh, this is the one I did. This is yours? That's the first piece that was made. This is like a marble, and it, what's this up here? It's a mushroom. I'm into mushrooms. I'm part of them, you know, a group that looks for mushrooms and identify them. You can enter in. <gasps> Look at that. You enter the piece, oh. and you can see that mushroom yeah. inside. So this is a, a Super 8 film mm -hmm. inside an augmented reality piece. Yeah! Old technology and new stuff. I have the marble with two little legs. Come <laughs> come towards <laughs> me. Come towards me. Maddie, this has just been so cool. And I know that AR has like a lot of deeper sort of meanings about where we are right now and how it's being used. 
Well, there are things that are always in my head. Yeah. Uh, memories, the marbles, and relation to my childhood. Mm -hmm. Being a woman and not being able to play with marbles, but I was revealing mm -hmm. and, uh, and playing with marbles, mm -hmm. and I still cherish that memory. VR is good. It's a, it's a new path. It's advancing in technology. Mm -hmm. um, I think it gives us possibilities of experimenting. Mm -hmm. I think it's the future of making memories yeah. concrete and things that has been overlooked mm -hmm. and now they're there. I love that. Uh, thank you for taking me on this tour. It's been amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I have one last exhibit that I wanted to see. It's a sculpture of an artist's mom. Her mom's favorite place was Kensington Market. You can find this AR artifact in the Belleville Square. But with the power of augmented reality, Maddie was able to set up a special preview for me to experience it near Pixfilm using the same geolocating technology that she used to bring artifacts to Kingston and Ottawa. My family means a lot to me, and I feel very lucky that I'm so close with my mom too. I love how Daphne was able to show love for her mom in a public artifact, while also augmenting it in such an intimate and personal way. It's been really inspiring to see all of the possibilities and the intersections with this parallel world, and to appreciate how AR gives opportunities for artists and folks like you and me to really make memorable and tangible artifacts in real life. Thanks again for joining me today. Stay tuned. I'll see y'all next time.